Hello all my Kinveens and welcome to a new episode of Discovering Steven Universe. The final episode before I am caught up before the big special occurs. So, oh boy, after what happened last episode I am very much intrigued to see what's going to be happening in today's, which is escapism. Which, I'll admit, you know, it's... I would prefer if it was just called Escape, because I don't, I, I don't know. Escapism almost sounds like a religion based on escaping, and that doesn't make any sense. So, <laughs> one other point is there, but to watch this episode and figure out what the heck's going on and see if the Crystal Gems... Or at least, to begin with, Stephen and Connie, as Stevani, are able to escape. So let's get going in three, wait, three, two, one, go. Crystal Gem pooped at the same time. And what will Dad say when he finds out? His only son, in jail at 14. <laughs> <laughs> So cute. You can do this. Oh boy. <gasps> Watermelon Steven. Watermelon bird. Did it break? Yep, it broke. <laughs> There's different factions of Watermelon Stevens? Well, oh, oh, bye doggy. <laughs> oh no. Whoa. A watermelon shark. Oh god. Yeah, I guess we'll we we will see what happens. Holy crap. Okay, so this was not at all what I expected, but at the same time it it showed a lot it, with very few words. Like the only words spoken were actually between Stephen and Connie at the very beginning and then just Stephen himself at the very end. What a setup <laughs> for the next uh for the well for the special coming up. So basically for Stephen and Connie there's no escape. Like they're not able to escape as far as I can tell. Like they I think the only way they're gonna get out is if they're let out, which will probably be by uh, yellow and uh, blue whenever they decide to uh, or whenever they decide that pink has uh, uh, thought about what she's done and I I mean that definitely triggered the whole uh, psychic mind powers is like I knew that it was sort of a close range thing well, not necessarily. As far as when the diamonds were concerned, uh, 
Stephen was able to connect with uh, Blue Diamond when she was on Earth. That's still technically closer than what uh, we're experiencing here, which is him reaching across galaxies. Um, but yeah, it, it, it does make sense that while, yes, he's not able to make that psychic connection with someone he's not directly connected to, um, he has a much closer correlation to the diamonds, which explains why it can be a bit more uh, uh, long, uh, long distance as far as the connection goes. But the Watermelon Stevens are a creation of his. They are something that he actually brought to life. So it makes sense that he's able to make that connection despite the great distance uh, between them. Now, that being said, the return of Watermelon Steven was cool. And then we got into uh, what I can only describe as sort of a natural evolution of society as far as how the Watermelon Stevens go. It's like, the last time we saw them, it's like, they were, they were developing as a civilization, and they worshipped, uh, I guess, Stephen? But since uh, the last time we saw them, they had, I guess, sort of two perspectives on it. It's like they had the original Steven Universe. So it's like they had the star with the um, that the hair, I guess. Or maybe it was just more the focus on the star. And then the other tribe, I guess is how you would describe it. Um, they focused on a different perspective, like the the fighting, the the battle side of it. Like when the Watermelon Steven led them against uh, uh, Malachite? I think that's right. Malachite. <sighs> Noises in the background are coming from Charlie. He may be getting into something. <laughs> but, yeah, just the whole concept of the tribes there is interesting and a bit worrisome. Just because, well, I don't even have a because for that really. I'm, I'm interested to see what they're doing the next time we encounter them. Like, will there be more tribes? Will they have come together? Which may be a possibility uh, considering what occurred on the island here where they, the tribes came together to help that Stephen. Which I don't know if they came to realize that this is a Stephen being controlled by the true Steven. I don't know. Kind of talking out of my butt here. But um, there was that unity which they hadn't seemingly experienced in a while, so maybe they will be even more advanced as a society the next time we meet them. I'd be interested to see how that goes along. And of course that brings us to the raft itself and just to kind of jump around here, the different animals that are coming about as a result of Stephen bringing these watermelon Stevens to life. And it's like the last time we saw them, yes, we saw the watermelon dog, who is adorable, and I love him. But then we also have the watermelon bird, and I don't think it, like, as far as I can remember, the only watermelon animal we experienced last time was the watermelon dog but now we have a bird which I honestly don't know how it survived to the point that we actually saw it because it clearly can't fly because it fell to the ground and crashed at that exact moment that we saw it and then there's the watermelon shark and it's just it's full-on jaws 
mode until like Stephen Watermelon Stephen cuddles and gives it a kiss, which is adorable. I don't know how that turned it around exactly, but it worked and thank goodness. And then of course that brings us to the final part uh, where Lion finds Stephen, Watermelon Stephen, and st still through just without words uh, were portrayed this st short story of Watermelon and Stephen trying to explain to them what's going on, but they're just not getting it. So he just comes out and says, says it, help, we need backup. And it's at that point that they understand. Bismuth is in, Greg is in, Lion, I assume is going to be in. Unfortunately, it seems like Peridot and uh, Lapis have not yet reformed. It may not have been very long, actually. I'm not sure how much time has actually transpired between uh, when they left Earth and now. Of course, and then there's undoubtedly at least, uh, I would assume, several days between Steven actually getting there and leaving, or, or maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure how time elapses here exactly. Maybe the island with the watermelon Stevens isn't as far away from Beach City as I thought. No clue. But regardless, that song there at the end, it is just, it's absolutely beautiful and it plays with the theme so well. I don't know if the song is free maybe or maybe the song itself is called escapism in since it's the episode that it falls on but it was just a beautiful beautiful song and i feel like i don't know maybe i'm it's just because i heard uh the singing there at the end but is it rebecca sugar that actually sings that song in this episode i'm 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 truly curious about that and if I remember, I'll look it up and, you know, put it in captions here. I'll probably forget, but I will do my best to remember. <laughs> but then, yeah, that leaves us here at the end. I mean, seemingly not much of consequence occurred other than Stephen letting them know on Earth that they need help. And then that's going to lead into the big special, the 44-minute special, Battle of Heart and Mind. And, oh my god, I... I can't wait. Seriously, I want to see that special now. Like the rest of you, I'm going to be waiting to figure out what happens. And I'm going to do my best to... Uh, watch it as soon as possible. I've been informed of a few possible venues that I can use in order to uh, watch it live and record at the same time. And what I'm thinking of doing, I'll put out more information on this as I uh, develop it and sort of figure out how I'm able to get it to work, but um, what I may end up doing is for the special itself, I may do a live reaction or basically a live discovering Steven Universe for this special and it'll be something that will be uh, limited to those uh, who are patrons as far as the actual live event. Now of course uh, I will be releasing the entire thing uh, for everyone to watch afterwards. Um, but yeah, if I'm able to pull off a live event like that to watch it when it first airs my time, I may do that. Again, I'll, I'll put out information as I'm able to. Just so check out the Facebook page, Twitter, Tumblr, all that. And I'll do my best to keep you all informed on what's going on. But yeah, uh, this next episode can't come soon enough. And I hope it answers some of the questions I've got. It may not answer any of them, but between now and when uh, the special occurs, I am going to be recording and putting out my theory video in what concerns my thoughts 
and possible theories of what might be going on with uh, White Pearl, Pink Pearl, who, well, may be the same person, uh, White Diamond and Pink Diamond. I'm going to do my best to sort of arrange it so that it's more succinct and not quite as long as my previous theory video, but yeah, I've got a, I have a lot of thoughts, a lot of possibilities to go over, and I'm really interested to hear what you all have to say about those. But thank you all, as always, for being here for this episode of Discovering Steven Universe. Again, a rather uneventful episode, but... It really raised a lot of interesting prospects, and it does have a setup for the next episode, slash the big episode. And I am so, so happy to be at this point, to be caught up with the show. <laughs> to know that I will be watching the next episode, the special, about the same time that you all are, just, it blows me away. And I'm so happy to be caught up and to be able to do this because I know a lot of you all are excited and I am very excited to see what happens in this special. Now, in addition to um, the possible live event for the special, or, uh, yeah, the possible live event for the special, as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a theory video and I may also do um, a reaction to a parent an apparent promo they put out for uh, Battle of Heart and Mind. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, I will record it, but I guess depending on how I react, if it seems entertaining at all, I may or may not actually put it out. But we'll have to wait and see. And I'll shut up now because I'm sure this video is go going on quite long enough. So everyone, again, thank you so much for being here. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on not only this episode, but you know what I've had to say. And until next time, for whatever I put out, I'm Papa Ken. See you in the next episode. <laughs>